Good evening, everyone, and welcome. Today we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter. We're very blessed today, this evening, to celebrate an Easter a baptism, confirmation, and, and Holy Eucharist. Tracy and Mary Sexton will have all the sacraments of initiation uh, this evening, and we're so very uh, blessed to uh, witness and to celebrate with her these Easter mysteries. Today we'll offer the Regina Celli. In the Easter season, it replaces the Angelus. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. The Son you did merit to bear. Alleluia. As risen as he has said. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, as we come to celebrate these Easter mysteries, may it give rise in our minds and hearts to great faith, hope, and love. May we cherish your word and be eager once again to partake of these holy mysteries. And please join in our opening hymn. to take a moment to welcome uh, Tracy here this evening and Cyril, uh, Tracy's sponsor. And we welcome you with uh, great open arms uh, to our uh, celebration here at St. Mark. And uh, we're very uh, blessed to celebrate with you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, risen from the dead, the love of the Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we come together to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we trust ourselves to the mercy of, of God, asking for his pardon and his peace. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, 
Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you have crucified. Now when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day were added about 3,000 souls. The word of the Lord. And thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He leads me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, 
and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that, free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned. You have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the Good Shepherd, says the Lord, Alleluia. I know my sheep and my know me. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, Anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of him, ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they not, do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, you may be seated. <laughs> the highlight of our Easter celebrations is the joy of risen life. The joy of that risen life that we all share in communion with you, but in a special way that joy that we uh, celebrate as these Easter sacraments are conferred on our catechumens and our candidates, namely the sacraments of baptism, confirmation and Holy Communion upon our catechumens, and uh, those who will receive 
fully into the, the church uh, during this Easter season. We're very blessed, as you know, to have a very active RCA program here at uh, St. Mark Sacred Heart Parish. Tony has been working very hard with you, and of course he is beaming with enthusiasm as you uh, receive the sacrament uh, tonight. Cyril, we know, is very proud of you, Tracy, for making this uh, wonderful step uh, to, to follow Christ. <laughs> now, as you beam with enthusiasm and excitement, as you uh, were telling us this evening how excited you are, we want you to channel that energy into um, a transformation. So no longer are you um, simply, um, you know, you're going to be changed tonight. No longer will you be the unbaptized, but your whole body, your whole spirit, your whole soul is being configured uh, to Christ. And um, we're going to really witness the homily tonight, aren't we? Because when you think about uh, Peter's words, they're really coming uh, to fruition. We see before our very eyes these words. What are we to do? Repent and be baptized, we are told. And we hear these very words from our psalm deepen our trust in the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for us. The Lord is our shepherd. And we see before our very eyes the abundant life Jesus has come to give you and to give us in abundance. And we relish the very title that we are given in that letter Peter wrote to that community that was suffering. The church was being persecuted. He wrote a letter, and he began the letter, Beloved. Let's not forget our identity. Wherever we are, whatever we're going through, ever difficulties, whatever struggles we're going through, that cannot be taken away from us. We are the beloved of God. You, Tracy, are the daughter of God. Cyril, like us, you are the son of God. And I know that you... You realize this and believe this in the core of your being, Tracy, that goodness of God, truth, beauty, and goodness runs deeper in you than anything else because you're a child of God. But I found the part of the letter rather interesting, and I thought you might too. And this is what he writes. When you suffer for doing what is good, be patient. This is a grace before God. Now, I don't want to embarrass you, Tracy, but uh, <laughs> seeing that you're the only one here tonight that's uh, receiving these sacraments, uh, I know that you've been anticipating this day for some quite some time, that you've been eager to receive uh, the waters of baptism. Why? Because you know and believe that Baptism's necessary for salvation. Now, many people know that you're a frontline worker at Independent, and we thank you for your service to the community. We thank you for suffering and enduring what you're, what you're doing to uh, lighten the burden and ease the sufferings for other people. I'm sure that... Um, when we think about suffering in this time, that we all have stories. During the virus, I've tried my best, my earnest to be creative. Creative in the sense of trying to help parishioners and others in a spiritual way. Now, many of the initiatives I've taken and we've taken have been met with resistance and sadly, opposition. So what is my response? What is our Christian response? Well, I think we should listen 
to the words of St. Peter. Be patient. Suffering for doing what is good is a grace. Well, no truer words need to be spoken in our, our time. Why should things be different for us? Earlier today, we celebrated the memorial of St. Athanasius. Remember, he was a bishop who defended the church against a heresy. Now, a heresy is simply a false teaching. Now, Arius was a Catholic priest, and he denied the divinity of Christ. And uh, Athanasius was vehemently opposed. He taught the true teachings of the church. Now, we know this heresy to be called the Arian heresy. Well, in a conversation with a colleague, he was asked if he woke up one morning and everybody else in the world believed that Christ was not divine, he said, well, uh, in other words, if, if everybody else believed in this heresy, he said, well, it would be me against the world. <laughs> and um, I guess it would be me against the world. So you're probably thinking, well, what can we do? Many of you are, are thinking at home, well, what can we can, what can we do? Well, I encourage you at home to, uh, to write. Write to those who are in authority. Write to our bishop. Ask him to communicate to the powers that be, to the government, for an allowance of a gradual increase of the numbers to attend daily Mass, and for the eventually opening up of the churches to the faithful. Now, we are very, very blessed to be able to gather in our beautiful church, to have five people here this evening, and we want to be able to have more. We will follow the guidelines, we'll comply with the law. However, you as faithful have a right to the sacraments. The faithful should not be deprived. We're very blessed to be able to engage a little bit more. We're going to hear about the secular activities we can engage in. And you'll, you'll see that there's a plan being un, unfolded, right? And you've heard about that, all the stages that are coming out. Well, the, the church and the practice of the faith is important. It's essential to you. And... It will be a disservice to prolong the exclusion of spiritual activities. The church and the practice of your faith is so paramount and so important that we want to join with everyone else, those who are not here tonight, those who are gathered, and say, Tracy, welcome home. Tracy, welcome home. And when you see Tracy at Independent or on the street, you can, from a distance, big, big wave, you know, and say, Tracy, welcome home. As we come together to rise, invoking the litany of the saints, 
We ask the saints to join us on this auspicious occasion for their intercession, their powerful presence, their companionship, their, their friendship. We pray, dear friends, to Almighty God, for our, our, our sister, Tracy, who's asked for baptism. You have come to this moment. May you be given light and strength to follow Christ with a resolute heart, to profess your faith in the church. May you be given new life of the Spirit, and as we heard in the readings tonight, that life in abundance. With we are about now to celebrate. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy angels of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint Andrew, pray for us. Saint John, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Stephen, pray for us. Saint Ignatius, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Perpetual and Saint Felicity, Pray for us, Saint Agnes, pray for us, Saint Gregory, pray for us, Saint Augustine, pray for us, Saint Athanasius, pray for us, Saint Basil, pray for us, Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Saint Jean Marie Vianney, pray for us. Saint Catherine, pray for us. Saint Therese, pray for us. Saint Stero, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us. O holy men and women, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people from all evil. Lord, save your people. From every sin, Lord, save your people. From everlasting death, Lord, save your people. By your coming as man, Lord, save your people. By your death and rising to new life, Lord, save your people. By your gift of the Holy Spirit, Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners, Lord, hear our prayer. Give new life to this chosen one, through the grace of baptism, Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. The response is, 
Blessed be God. Together, blessed be God. Father God of mercy, through the waters of baptism, you fill us with new life as your very own children. Blessed be God. From all who are baptized in water and the Holy Spirit, you have formed one people united in your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed be God. You have set us free and filled our hearts with the spirit of your love, who may live in your peace. Blessed be God. You have called those who have been baptized to announce the good, to announce the good news, to renounce Satan, and to bring the good news to people everywhere. Blessed be God. You have called Tracy to this cleansing font, to this water that she may share in the faith of your Son and have eternal life. By the mystery of the consecrated water, lead her to new and spiritual birth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, Tracy, I'm going to ask you, and everyone at home can profess with us, everyone here, and you respond, I do, to the following invocations. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin, and prince of darkness? I do. We anoint you now with the oil of salvation, in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Okay, you just come right up here. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good right there. Yeah. Okay, great. <clears throat> Tracy, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. Since it is your desire to be baptized in the faith that we've all professed with you, I'll ask you to come to the font Tracy Mary I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen Okay, great There you go <laughs> God of power and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, brought you to new life through water and the Holy Spirit, and now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so that united with his people, you may remain forever a member of Christ, who is priest, prophet, and king. Sir, I'll invite you to come forward uh, to receive the Paschal candle. And uh, Tracy, if you just step in front of the ambo, right over the, that side, yeah. And Sir, you come on up there to the uh, candle there. Yep. Yeah. Yes, please. Please receive the light of Christ. Mm -hmm. There we go. 
you have been enlightened by Christ, walk always as a child of light. Keep the flame of faith alive in your heart. When the Lord comes, you may go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Now that you have been born again in Christ by baptism, you become a member of Christ and his priestly people. You are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to the baptized. The promise, strength, and the Holy Spirit which you are to receive will make you more like Christ and help you witness to the suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be an active member of the church to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. And so I'll lay hands on you, and then I'll ask the power of the Spirit to come upon you. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and Holy Spirit, you have freed your sons and daughters from sin and given them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, spirit of right judgment and courage, spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, Cyril, I'll ask you to come down in front of um, Tracy there. Yep. And you'll place your, your hand on her shoulder. Good. Okay, good. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Tracy, be sealed. The gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. We'll do the shaking afterwards. <laughs> okay, Cyril, if you can blow, blow out your candle there. And uh, we're just going to have, yep, yeah, you can put it in the box there. Um, can I, oh no, I got, I got one up here. Um, there's a tradition within the church of years ago of allowing the candidate to be awoken uh, to the Spirit of God. And that is um, a tradition that uh, Tracy has asked that um, she receive, and so you can come forward and to have the awakening of the Spirit upon you. Yeah. Congratulations. Go ahead, go ahead. And as we prepare the altar with the gifts, we are going to uh, have everyone just before we'll rise together and offer the prayers of the faithful. My dear brothers and sisters, in this time of isolation, let us turn to Christ the Good Shepherd with renewed confidence for prayers for vocations to continue the mission of Christ in the world. We pray in a special way for families, Families that are, are burdened at this time. Let us pray for the needs of the church. Let us pray for the safety of the vulnerable, for those on our streets. Let us pray for those in most in need of salvation. For the church, guided by the Good Shepherd to the pastures of life, for Archbishop Mulhall, on this anniversary of his installation, and those called by Jesus to tend the sheep of his flock, and for the Catholic Women's League of this archdiocese, who are unable to meet this year, we pray to the Lord. For peace throughout the world, for temperate weather and a bountiful harvest, and for a just sharing of the produce of the earth, we pray to the Lord. For those discerning their vocation, whether to the ordained ministry, marriage, single or religious life, for families that pray together to strengthen their bonds of love, especially during this month dedicated to the Rosary of Mary, 
and for parents who reflect the light of Christ to their children and neighbors. We pray to the Lord. For the sisters of the Congregation of Notre Dame, as they conclude the celebration of the 400th anniversary of the birth of Sister Marguerite Bourgeois, for those who continue the ministry of education in these difficult times, and for all the seminarians of our archdiocese, we pray to the Lord. For those in need, especially the homeless and the hungry and the sick, give comfort to those, O Lord, who carry the cross of suffering, Paul Emile, Patrick Family, Don Young, Bob Burgess, Annette McLaughlin, Ruth Lapierre, Bill Delaire, Dana De Decker, Dorothy Dove, Wayne Dove, Bernie Courier, Carolyn Crosby, Jean Farlinger, Anita Burton, Carmel Glynn, Tommy Glynn, Ken Lawless, Janet Molson, Joe Keeler, Rosalie Weissman, Deborah Heath, Alan Akins, Paulette LaRose, Stu Cooperus, Annie Laurier McPherson, Cameron Gauthier, Jacob White, Peggy Israel, Rudy Beckadam, Amanda McDonald, Father Brian Price, Alan Moore, Anne Hartle, Lindsay Sloan, and all those suffering from the coronavirus, and for all those who turn to Jesus for abundant life, we pray to the Lord. For the spiritual and physical well-being of all parishioners, for those that have died recently, gracious Lord, may these beloved be named in the book of life, Francis LaPlante, Mary Ross, Rosemary Keeler, Derek Sexton, Ron Patterson, Sylvia Sementendi, Aldo Gregoire, L.V. Annabel, Eileen Patrick, Robert Boisvert, Jennifer Sementendi, Thomas Longo, Father Fernando Suarez, Charles Gendron, Richard Marion, Sylvia Turcott, Susan Frankham, Linda Gillespie, and for all those who have died from the coronavirus and all those who mourn, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the happy repose of soul of Edward Lanigan. We pray for the consolation for his family at this time and that he will be received in the banquet of life eternal Lord, in your mercy, Lord, hear, our hear our prayer. Father, attune our ears to the voice of the Good Shepherd, who leads us always to you, that we may find under your divine protection life in abundance. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And why don't you kindly be seated as we prepare the gifts. Christi vivent et gloria 
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice to your hands, the praise and glory of his name, our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just, it is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore we come with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly power that the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Uncheria Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus qui ventent in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly to your, for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. We pray in a special way for all of our catechumens and, and candidates, and for those uh, who will be receiving the Easter sacraments and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise or they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and the help of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, then of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. 
Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, with eyes raised to heaven to you, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, resurrection from the dead, the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we your servants and your holy people, offer your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, the spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, to accept them as you once were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hand of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the earth, the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 We rise together 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord with you always. On your stay, Quetores peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, Quetores peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On your stay, Quetores peccata mundi. Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of a Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter into my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Have a solemn blessing on this Easter day. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and adoption, give you the gladness of his blessing. Amen. May he, who's by his redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you co heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner of his, on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be your protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.